So Vikings, I have implemented individual belt tensioning. So it was brought to my attention that these guys was not part of the build instructions. And these are the original belt tensioners for the XY belt system on the Weeking. And um, uh, they was designed to uh, tension both belts at the same time, um, which has been discussed not optimal. So what I did now is I applied a couple of parts here. I also have a spacer. I'll try to film the spacer. I don't know if you can see the spacer. So there's a spacer holding this upper bearing. It's just a bearing with a couple of sleeves. So this is a 608 bearing. It means it has an inner diameter, an axle diameter of 8, 8 millimeter. And that's why I have these um, sleeves inside the bearing. So we can use the M5 to hold it in place. Which also makes for a nice... I don't know if I can zoom here. Let me try to zoom. Which also makes for a nice um, edge. So the belt does not come off. So 608 bearings, um, 8 millimeter axle diameter, 22 millimeter outer diameter, and 7 millimeter in thickness. So the thickness is a 7 millimeter, which applies to the belt, which is 6. So that is what we want. Um, you might also use uh, some other bearings, but then you need to adapt that yourself. And two, I have not made this into one part. They could be one part, but then they cannot be centered like this. I would like to have them centered so they are placed close all into this bracket. The top C, C belt mount anchor point. So both of them are uh, tight into both uh, each side here, uh, which means because these guys they need to be close to each other, or the belt will start rubbing on the um, the actual um, M5 screw, which we don't want. I know I'm out of focus. Sorry. So to avoid belt touching the screw, we need to have these two parts close to each other. So either you place them like this, or if you go with um, lower diameter bearings or idlers, you need to place them together, all together. And if so, you need to go over here, place them over here or over here. And one more important thing. This is important. You want to tension the upper belt, which is what I call the A motor. This is sort of the A motor. And this is the upper path belt, which comes from the motor all the way over to this idler. And then you want to tension this top belt on this side. Uh, at least that was what is what I recommend. It's not a little big difference, but you want to be as close to this corner uh, the long 
path corner as possible. So this is the long path. I hope that makes sense. And then, of course, the opposite. We tension the lower belt on the B side. Because this is the B motor and these belts come below the other one. Over to this idler, the lower idler here. And to this tensioner. And let me place you guys over here so I can do some um, tension tests. Uh, you bring the X carrier to the center of the printer and then you bring the Y axis all over to the idler side like that and then you want to, to listen to you want to tune the belts so they have similar tone them close to one of the sides it's easier to get a good tone close to the motor I think so these are this is good it doesn't have to be exactly the same and more important make sure when you bring your x-axis all the way to the idler brackets Make sure that they are close on both sides. You don't have any, so uh, the x axis is perpendicular to the y. That's important. If there is one millimeter gap, there's uh, not big, uh, a big problem, but uh, if there are two big gap over here, then you need to tension this belt, the lower belt. Uh, or actually, then you probably need to tension the upper belt. I was totally wrong. Well, that you will figure out. So, I hope that helps. So, I can try to make some uh, decent drawings or something of uh, these guys. Uh, but they should be okay to assemble i think so any questions let me know this is just a quick update on the build blog uh, about belt tensioning and individual belt tensioning with bearings uh, and sleeves so 608 bearings thanks for watching